Hi Aries, this is a love reading, okay? This is going to be um, how they feel about you. It looks like you could be feeling a little stuck or there's something here that you are looking for the solution for, okay? And it looks like whether you're stuck or blocked or whatever this is or you can't find a solution to it, a, a clear solution is coming towards you or you are moving towards it, okay? So this is good. Um, we have the number 18 and the number 24 here with this energy, okay? We have the Lantern Fairy, which is like hermit energy, okay? And then we have the Violet Dutch Duchess, which is bored energy, stuck energy. I don't, I'm not sure what this is about, but let's get one more card and see if Spirit will tell us more here. And listen, you know, I just want to let you guys know that there's no better life than yours. I know we all go through changes and you know but there there are there is love around you whether you see it or not even if you're not getting the love and affection or attention or whatever it is that you're yearning or desiring from whoever that might be that you may not be getting it from there is still love available to you and so support those people and and nurture those relationships that are the for those people who are nurturing you right those are the people you want to focus on i don't even know why I felt the need to say that but there's no life better than yours whether you know it or not let's get one more card for you what else for the collective thank you we have interesting powerful personal growth so this is good you guys are coming out of a period of feeling stuck you know this uh we just experienced it, like strong eclipse energy on the 28th and so you know that energy could be getting you out of that that energy of the eclipse is about bringing things to the surface that are beneath the surface that you may not have addressed they've been there you may not have noticed them but but that eclipse energy is bringing that stuff to the surface so some things are coming to the surface right a lot of self um i heard i just heard self delusion and, and, and i'm not saying you're delusional or anything like that maybe there are some just things that you weren't seeing clearly that you were totally about to see clearly this could be people in your life. This could be a job. Like you're starting to see something for what it is. And, and but whatever it is that you're going to be seeing clearly, you're reflecting on, it involves growth. And it's personal, powerful growth here. Okay? So you might be a little unhappy with it right now. But what you may not expect is that something good is going to come out of it. Okay? So there's some form of... Um, transition that you're in right now when it comes to growth okay so like you could be in between jobs you can be in between you know a relationship a breakup or, or you know moving whatever it is show me what else here for the collective the good thing is there's a solution there's always a solution right whether we choose to see it or not queen of cups energy here yeah i think you this is spirit saying here address whatever feelings that you're having or whatever emotion, right? Are you able to put a, a... Are you able to describe it? Are you able to acknowledge it and see it for what it is? Allow those things to come to the surface. Queen of Cups is very kind, nurturing. Um, yeah, you are growing. Whether you're male or female or not, you guys are growing and expanding here with the Queen of Cups and the Three of Wands. You're coming out of whatever... You're just entering a new phase in your life, you guys. This is great. So... Are you ready to pursue that energy, right? Are you ready to take action? Are you ready to go on a new journey? It's time for you to make a choice. Okay, let's see what this is. Page of Wands. Some of you guys are making a choice here. It's like you may have three options. You know, there's three, you know, three separate paths. You're choosing a path here. You're choosing a path. There also could be some good news coming in towards you too, Page of Wands energy. That's like, that could just be you preparing to go on a journey. Some of you all could be actually traveling because this person's like wearing a book bag. So maybe some of y'all are like, like I said, this could be a physical or emotional or even a spiritual journey. Whatever it is, you're moving into a new direction and you're making a choice. And whatever that new direction is, it comes with growth and expansion and good news too. So good for you yep star energy you guys star energy it's a wish fulfillment whatever this is okay so some of y'all have something new coming in and it's something that you wish for something that you prayed for you've been doing some healing work you might may have even felt some stagnant energy again the eclipse energy is bringing that stuff to the surface 
go ahead and cut cords with a do a cord cutting ceremony to release all that stuff all that baggage you know allow yourself to feel things and address emotions and just let go of it allow that love the people that are around you who are even if it's just you calling your mom or whoever it is that you enjoy speaking to every day pour into those things that give back to you okay there's something here some dreams are either coming true for you or there's just something that, look at that wow ace of swords on the bottom of the day interesting you're about to have either a realization or something ace of wands look at that the ace of wands you guys have a new beginning here and this is actually really exciting really really exciting this is something passionate whatever it is there's a lot of passion surrounding this and bottom of the deck it could be even like a, a new love connection king of cups we already have the queen of cups out here if it's not this is just you needing to find a comfortable balance in between your masculine and feminine which is like a are you being in this queen of cups energy and addressing the emotion allowing it to come to the surface and recognizing it are you too much in your masculine energy because the king of cups is like really emotionally intelligent and they tend to have emotions but sometimes they do not come off it's like they're showing these emotions you guys whether you know it or not here Wow, I think you've got something new coming in here. I'm looking at the bottom of the deck. I see the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, the Tower, the Lovers, and the King of Cups here. So there's, there could be an unexpected choice that you may have to make in the future when it comes to a, a new love connection or something that's going to bring in some form of stability. It's doing something that you really love, something that you're very passionate about. It's like you moving into a new direction. For some of you all, that may even require for you to move, pack up, whatever it is that you do, take your belongings somewhere else and something new. And it involves some form of opportunity. You may even be getting a gift from somebody here. Someone sees you as this queen of wands. They're like really super stupid attracted to you. <laughs> the devil and the queen of wands. Male or female, somebody sees you as like bomb, diggity. Like you just, you just look great. Somebody thinks you look amazing. I don't know. Now, if this isn't the case, this is you, you know, being passionate and ready to create something new here. And whatever it is that you're creating, you're being a leader, you're taking action, you're stepping up to the plate, and you're doing this for yourself, right? You're stepping into this Queen of Wands energy, which is good. All right. Let's see what's going on for you in love. Like I said, for some of you all, there could be a new love connection coming in. Or if that doesn't resonate for you, then this is definitely about a new path, a new journey, a new job, a new direction. Definitely could involve moving. What else do we have for the collective when it comes to love? We've got Aquarius energy here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here, and Aries, Sagittarius energy here. Okay. There's something about your self-respect that makes you very attractive. It makes you very attractive, okay? We have love yourself energy here first, very soon, and then passion. I think y'all have some, a, a new passionate connection coming in. Hold on, I just dropped a card. Let's see what that was. You deserve love. You are lovable. You got something coming in here, I'm telling you. So very soon, decide, you know, if you're single and, you know, you you are looking for a new connection and you're like, I'm, I want somebody, but it has to be like that special person. Like somebody here is coming in, I'm telling you. Mm. There is a small messenger for those of you who are married and you're in some form of separation from your person and you've been taking a break to focus on you or you've been like trying to decide do you want to take a new direction do you want to try to heal this and make it work there's an opportunity here for you to uh, come back together and reconcile with your person now you have free will you can do whatever it is that you want here but you don't have to do that somebody here yeah some of you guys like i said if you're in a connection you're going to be forgiving somebody here um and somebody here wants to come towards you and have a conversation and take some form of effort and, and just talk with you you know or try to work something out for those of you who are kind of like just single and you don't have anybody 
you are in this hermit energy kind of going through your own like i said you're doing your own thing healing learning growing you're stepping into a new phase of life you're taking action on the things the goals and the things that you want to do and then it's like someone here wants to come in that that sees you they think that you are like awesome they think you're an amazing human being they, they're very attracted to you there is some form of passion and attraction here and then we have getting to know each other and attraction you see what i'm saying somebody here wants to whoever this person is they're gonna talk they're gonna they're gonna like want to have a conversation with you court you date you get to know you um and you might even be afraid some of you guys because this is the message here is safe for you to love some of you guys are separated i'm telling you and have children with somebody here but or you are divorced or something and you're like do i really want to like date because i have kids or is it time for me to date like spirit is saying it's safe for you to do that okay now i'm not saying obviously don't focus on your children or your family i just feel like there's a strong energy of you having been doing that and that's good, right? That's good, but, oh, what was that? Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and have fun. I wasn't even using this deck, but this fell on the floor. So this is you, I feel like you guys have really, male or female, and you've been hanging out with your friends, or like I said, it's time for you to hang out with people who love you, who you have a strong bond with here, you know what I mean? And just foster those relationships and then everything else kind of just falls in place and like you you may not even have to be focused on love and I really feel like you're not focused on love to be quite honest. A lot of you all have moved on from a past connection here and you're just like having fun, enjoying your life and just like cool with like living in the moment. And if you're not, you need to be, but I strongly feel like you are, okay? so. It's good. You know, you don't always have to be in a relationship. So show me what else when it comes to love for the collective. Passion keeps coming up, you guys. You might be picking up, when you meet this person, you see how much passion and chemistry is here? When you meet this person, I feel like y'all are going to be picking up the phone, calling your homeboy, calling your homegirl, whoever, right? That you're close to and be like, man, this other person, the chemistry is insane with this person. Like, we have so much fun. Like, we, there's so much attraction. There's so much to discover. Let's see here. Allow yourself to just be free and enjoy that, Okay. The sword, you're about, what is, this Ace of Swords keeps coming out for some reason. Hmm. What is this Ace of Swords about? The boat. Hmm. You might get some closure from somebody you used to date. There may be a conversation. I feel like you get a conversation and either some of y'all are getting closure or this is somebody here who wants to talk to you and they want to express something to you, okay? What does this person want to express to the collective? Again, somebody, I'm telling you somebody wants to have a conversation and talk to you. What do they want to talk about? This could be a text, a phone call. What does this person want to talk about? Somebody's interested in you and they want to have more conversation. There's a strong energy of like somebody wanted to talk. Okay. <laughs> it's something good. Abundance is here. It's something good. Can you show me more here? It's definitely positive. Yep. Ascending. Transcending obstacles. Learning. Expanding. New phase. Preparing for union. Okay, so like I said, some of you are going to be reconciling with somebody new, but I, I mean, with somebody old, but I strongly feel like for most of you, this is somebody new who wants to express. Like, you might be meeting somebody while you're like traveling or something, or like doing something, going somewhere, or I feel like there's two situations happening here. One, one has to do with love and one has to do with some form of stability. And when I open up and split the date, look at what came out. Love. Love. And, and there's, I can't see what's on the other side of that, but I think it's funny how love came out. So this is good. Show me what else. The chaser. What is going on? Who is this chaser? Somebody watching you? 
Who's this chaser? Somebody you ended it with? Listen, somebody wants to take a mask off and talk to you and make a love offer. Because this mask is here, but it's in reverse. It's in reverse. So either you've got a... Now, listen, some of y'all could have a choice of two people. You might get some closure from an old person, but I'm strongly sensing something new. New and passionate. But there's something here where you haven't talked to somebody. There's no communication. So this person wants to talk to you. They are one of the... I'm just saying... Let's pull some tarot and see what this is about. Can you show me about this old person here, please? Can you show me about this star? Uh... Well, no, let's do this. Show me about this chaser energy. Show me the chaser's energy here. The person who's chasing the collective. What do they want? Oh, the wheel just came out in reverse. This person wants to, to discuss something with you. They're not able to move on. I feel like you've moved on from this person. There, there's unfinished business here. I mean, you know, the wheel in reverse is also somebody getting karma. This person could be getting karma for how they treated you. Okay. Show me the chaser's energy, please. Towards my collective. The empress. They can't get over you. Mm-mm. I can't get over you. Oh, yeah, that's an old song. Who is, is that Frankie Beverly? I don't know who that is. But they see you as the Empress. They, there's no one better than you. This person's not able to get over you. Show me this chaser's energy. They're holding on to you. Four pentacles. Cannot let you go. <sighs> Look at this. They see you as somebody who brings healing and balance. They... they I just, this is the person who wants to talk. There goes that Ace of Swords again with the Two of Cups, Ten of Swords energy. There was an ending and separation and something here. This person can't get over you. Can we talk about the new person though? Possibly they could be a Taurus, a Sagittarius here. They could be any Zodiac sign, but can, can we find out about the new, if the new energy for the collective? You, okay, they could be a Gemini here, this new energy. This is somebody here that you could have manifested, somebody you've been waiting for. Yeah, this is somebody you manifested that you've been waiting for. Look at this. Aquarius energy you could have Gemini or Aquarius in their chart, but it doesn't matter. The star is here twice, by the way. Remember the star came out on a totally different deck? Yeah. <laughs> this is the person watching you, waiting and watching. This person is waiting and watching. They think you may even reject them, but they want to offer this to you, telling you they... <laughs> wow. Mm. Somebody here could have just gotten out of a, a karmic connection. This person that you manifested might just be like how to dis a disconnect or is detaching from a, a like a karmic, toxic relationship, or or um, they could have recently gotten a divorce. I feel strongly somebody here recently got a divorce, or they're about to get a divorce, or something like that, or they're going through a divorce. Maybe that's why they're so slow to. They're just sitting back watching you, like, ah, uh, do I want to do this? Do I not want to do this here? You know what I'm saying? So what else does the collective need to know here about both of these people or this decision? Ooh, two of cups. Both these people love you. Both these people love you. <laughs> what else does the collective need to know about both of these people? Both these people are in love with you, honey. I'm telling you, seven of swords. What's the seven of swords about? The, I feel like you have more than one person trying to figure out how they're going to approach you and talk to you. You got one person lurking in the background. Look, I'm telling you somebody strategizing on how to bring forward a love offer. There's one person here that wants to offer something new to you. And there's another person here that wants to apologize that you're separated from. You're not going to want to know what to do. Yep. See, look, bottom of the deck, 
you're not gonna want to know what you're not going to know what to do okay uh the lovers and the two of pentacles the lovers is about a choice there's a lot of passion you're gonna be like oh my god there's so much passion over here but is there stability spirit is saying no trust your intuition use your discernment okay here goes that four of wands and ten of pentacles you guys Either in the world, either somebody here just split with their end of the cycle with someone, but there is the good thing is, it's like what's available here. One of these people you're going to be able to have this four of wands and this ten of pentacles with, which is long term. So you trust your discernment, and it's coming in toward. Oh, I just split the deck and just saw the chariot and the ten of cups. And the Eight of Wands. I'm randomly splitting the deck here. Somebody getting ready to talk. Eight of Wands, Ace of Swords. I don't know when this is going to happen. Can we find out when this is? Is there a time frame for this? Can can the, can you show the collective what the time frame is here? Can we get a time frame for the collective? What? No. Maybe during Capricorn season. A time frame here. Three, three months, five weeks, maybe Capricorn season. Okay. For some of y'all, somebody had you in a third party. That's what that past person like was had going on. Okay. But I feel like somebody is leaving something behind, Ace of Cups, and moving on. I feel like you strongly have moved on. But or maybe this is that person. I don't I don't I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's get a couple words from the past person and see what they want to say to you. What does this past person want to say to my collective, please? What's the past person want to say to the collective? You could be dealing with the Pisces if I didn't mention that before. Let's make plans. You see what I'm saying? This past person is not really coming into play with you. I feel like both of these people are gonna be in love with you. Or you're you you're gonna like I feel like they both are into you, you know. Things are moving too fast. Interesting. What is this about? Show me more here. What does this past person wanna say? Let me see what that's about. Hmm. This past person wants to talk to you about something. They weren't honest with you. Okay. This person is tired of waiting. Okay. This person is tired of waiting. And they, I feel like, yeah, see, this person didn't know what they wanted. And, and they felt like you deserve better. So use your discernment. You're going to know if this person is ready or they're playing games or not. Or if they just want attention. Okay. I just, obviously they love you, but I'm no good for you. See what I'm saying? So just be mindful of that. Be be mindful of that because this person feels like you deserve better. They feel like they are no good for you and they really are coming from a place of like unsurety. They don't know what they want, but they love you. There may even be a lot of passion behind whatever this is. I feel like somebody wants to have a conversation with you. I'm watching you. You see what I'm saying? Somebody here is watching you. I really feel like there's two people watching you. There it is. There's two people watching you. So just pay attention because I feel like y'all have outgrown this past person. So whatever it is that they're going to want to do, passion is not just going to work anymore. It's got to be more than, they're going to have to bring more than passion to the table. Because I feel like you already healed and moved on from, from this person. Like you've already done your healing work. I just saw Broken Heart in reverse on that deck. And then the star is out here twice. You're healed. You did the work. Some of y'all are not going to allow this past person to come back in. And, and like, you know, you may not want to take that chance. And this person knows that. They know that. They know that they might. There's a chance that you may reject them. Oh, they know for sure. But they're still holding on to you. And they're hoping they can have a conversation with this wheel in reverse being here. So, um, yeah, that's your reading, you guys. I love you. Let me know if it resonated. And.